Welcome back, my adoring public, to more Extreme Odyssey Nexus, Feral Fiasco here. Last episode, we made it to B4F of the Golden Lair, and uh, we're now going to go to the bar, turn in this request. Well, First, we gotta touching. chat the patient up, picky fashion designer. Ah, have you collected my materials? Uh, yeah, let's hand him the materials. Yes, these are fantastic! Now I can create a headdress and ring to match that gown perfectly! This outfit's really coming together. My client's going to be head over heels! Heels are probably what we're going to have to make next. Kvasir has your reward already. Thank you! Alright, and let's report. 30k N. Pretty nice. Probably blow through that in one session, though. Hey, good job getting that request done! That's right, I heard the whole story! I may look old, but I've got good ears! They finished the dress, but wanted to make an accessory to go with it? Craftsmen sure do work hard, huh? <laughs> Was I thinking about slacking off again? <laughs> That's not the case! I'm just making sure I'm living my best life. And to me, the best life is one where I have to do as little as possible. How about you? Want to live life on picnic mode? Uh, no. We'd rather stay where, all right where we're at. Thank you, Gavazir, but, uh, no. Not interested? All right, then. Let me get you the uh, your reward, you serious worker, you. He probably doesn't say anything different if you're on a different mode, but it'd be funny if he did. Astra is literally 5 XP away. Oh. My father's birthday is coming up, and I'd like to make him something. We get a formaldehyde, which I'm... Man. I'm probably going to end up meeting these formaldehydes, because I'm not getting those rare drops Kavasir's asking for, but we'll, we'll figure something out. You're taking on that request, you damn kids? Oh, sorry for shouting all of a sudden. Hmm. Our client has a very hot-headed father. The kind where if something goes wrong, he starts flipping tables and shouting at people. Don't worry, though. The client himself is very nice. He's not scary at all. No! Hurry up and tell you uh, Hurry up and tell you the request already? <laughs> I got a bit distracted there. Sorry. He wants us to bring him a thick bone and a baboon skull. You can get both from baboons in the golden lair. Good luck out there, and be careful. Return of the gown. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> looks like you know who this one. Uh, looks like you know who this one's from. That's right, he's back. Maybe the third time will be the charm, or maybe there's just no escaping him. Either way, I'm counting on you again. All right. Oh, that was fast. Usually, I have to get up and uh turn those off manually, but okay. I'll take not having to do that this time. Hmm? He's over there, same seat as always. And he's smiling at you. Patrons. Well, hello. Have you accepted my request again? How reassuring. Thanks to you, the gown and accessories turned out flawless. In fact, they may have been too perfect, unfortunately. Because now the clients demanded that I create a matching handbag for her too. Okay, so it's not heels, it's a handbag. That means I need someone to go and gather the materials for me, and that someone is you. I need you to go to the Golden Lair and obtain two Zapper skins and two Zapper tongues from Zapper frogs. Okay. Yeah, none of those should be too particularly difficult. And we can just go right back to B4F. Or, I've got to take a quick trip down there. Uh, let's see if we can skip that next time. All right, so we're back on B4F. We can, let's see. Let's open up by going this way again. Let's take this turn this time. Okay, that's a total dead end. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like we're mainly still stuck doing the same thing. Okay. So they went down pretty easily, and that's Monet having hit level 60. Astra's gonna be up next, but skip straight to this. Yes. All right. Now we've got everything iced over, so we can basically actually make some progress in this place now. Just want to make sure we don't get caught out like before. All right, so we didn't get the other drop that we needed. Mm. So that was kind of, uh, well, 
it connects. It's more of the it's more of the map that we filled out, so let's not worry too much about it. All right, so this is a complete dead end. Unless there's something interesting going on in the center. There is. As you explore the cave, you reach a large open area. In the center of the room, there is a square stone box that definitely appears man-made. On the top side, there is a small narrow slit and the box appears to be hollow inside. When you check the other sides, you notice that it has a keyhole in the words, the key is three o'clock carved into it. If you add the key, you could open the box. So we have to come back at 3 p.m. <clears throat> Which is nowhere near now. Three, two, one. Equals. All right. So just gotta come back at three p.m. Let's drop uh, one of these bad boys right there too. Or maybe... No. Nothing's changed about the puzzle. Except if we move to the left, we'll be just as stuck. Is there a way for us to get behind it? No. Hmm. Interesting. Well, now's not really an now's not really the best time for it, but let's customize really quickly. Yeah, especially because we've got so many points we can put in this stuff. Um How about Let's do... Yeah, Spear Assist. Don't want that to get too much more expensive. Alright, uh, we can stop there for that. Delay three turns. Um, well, we just don't want to rush... Uh, like, we still don't want to run through our TP like that. Hmm. If user skills consume HP of allies in the same line, they recover TP at end of turn. Yeah. Which only really affects Monet, but still. Where is our almighty... There we go. Axel Drive. Yeah, she's got plenty of skill points, even without... Even still without having... Yeah. 45, why not? Uh... Sure, let's upper maximum HP, upper status defense. Hmm. We use massive edge quite a lot as well. It ups the leg bind chance, so I don't have a problem with that. Okay. Eight for Baron. So what is it? charge we can only hit single target until the end of turn so we definitely have to put more into making sure that Baron is good to go here boom may null an elemental attack to the user's line hmm. all right let's learn that yeah. Alright, get both of those on hand. And next we're gonna put some more into it, like the etheric buffs. So how about we start with Laura's TP cost for a row of allies this turn. Ugh. Mmm. Alright, Reese has six only, so we can put another one into auto revive. 
then... Yeah, we don't want to make heal all even more expensive. Max 3 activations, even though we rarely use Chase Heal. Might start using it now. Elemental defense up. Uh, sure, let's increase revive. How uh, good that is. And then head buying chance up. Uh, increases drop rate. Yeah, let's do that. And finally, Astra. Got those maxed out. And maybe Fizz attack up. I rarely ever use Ricochet. Enemy ray right down. Yeah. And then how about we uh pet snipes chance? Okay. All that said and done, we're still staring down this FOE with Mary a plan, so let's duck out of the way. Oh, well, did you look at that? Well, I guess that's the answer to the puzzle. Oh. It was a trap the whole time. Alright, so we're back. I was taking, I took a look to see if there was potentially some sort of other way we could go that was behind the, uh, behind this icicle, but it's actually right there. So as soon as we push it over, then it's actually much easier than I was making it out to be, which is nice. I'm not going to complain about things being simpler than, uh, they first appeared. Enrica discovered items. Thank, oh, she discovered a nectar. That's nice. Thank God that doesn't actually slow us down, though. There we go. Oh. Well, would you look at that? So next time we can just... That... It's one way. Okay. I guess that must just be so that... Wow. And out in case you get trapped or something. Nope. All right. Don't see very many of those. In fact, I think that's the first one we've encountered this whole game. Unless there are more that I just didn't go through or am not remembering. Uh. Okay, so that one. Oh, we've got to do both now. Where's the... Okay. So obviously there's only one way this thing can go. Hup. I wonder if this if we can kill FOEs by pushing these icebergs into them, we probably also lose them if we do that. Oh, I've already failed the puzzle. Hmm. Looks like we're going to have to reset it. Wow. Okay, it wasn't going to let me get past. Alright, let's, uh... Escape. Defend. Escape. Es or, instead of him trying to escape, let's healing Monet. Escape. Yeah, we just have to get out of this room. There we go. And it pushes us back still? Oh, well. Alright, we need... Hmm... Where do we need it to be at? If we're trying to get here... How do we... You know what? We've got to get it to right here. If we do that, then we can come at it from down here. Yeah. But then how do we stop it from getting stuck right there? 
Interesting. Well, we gotta leave and come back anyways. Alright, so before we go back, let's see what's behind here. Freeze Talisman. Uh, alright. Well, I guess the next enemy we're gonna wanna face... Is it not gonna be the Boiling Wizard? Oh well, we'll see, we'll see. Are we supposed to somehow... Oh, you know what? I see. I was too focused on... I was too focused on my original, um... Uh, no, we're not gonna do that. I was too focused on my original incorrect assessment. We already had the puzzle solved the last time. And Rika discovered items right as we were sliding along. So I guess it checks on literally every single square. Okay. So we do have this in the bag. Instead of it being, um, instead of this being right here, that's actually completely incorrect. If we get it right here, we can just, we can just walk up from this way. We come up from this way, then we slide over, we're good to go. We just have to actually survive long enough to get to that point. Evade approved. The evade improved. Uh, there we go. Good stuff, Salem. All right. So one push. Uh, yeah. Can you come over here, dude? All right. Holy crap, uh... Can this thing let us go, please? Okay, there we go, just had to... get free really quickly. Aha! Can't stop us now, Joker! We did it. Okay. I had to, like, I had the wrong impression of how we could solve the puzzle the first time around, but that's okay. We were able to get that fixed up. No longer have to worry about that. And now, I was seriously worried this was a dead end for a second. Hmm. Oh, okay, it's one of the bat uh, FOEs, which actually it already looks like we can just skip these things. All right, we easy peasy that fight. Still haven't actually gotten any of the jobs that we need to complete any of these requests, but you know, it's all good. All right, so looks like this is just a nice gather area. Luminous moss, delicate flower, all right. Hollow log, and we can't gather anything else here today. Still, pretty nice place. Takes a bit to get to. Only thing with that. Nice. So we just swoop around. Ah. Uh. Are any of them going to line up here? Guess not. So I don't think we're going to be able to hit any of those FOEs with this ice block. I think it may be for puzzle solving. Yeah. So maybe if we... Alright, so funny story. We actually died in that encounter, so... How about we explore more of this place... So there's another, well, actually we can skip to here, but there's another block of ice. Got to figure out how we're going to get to push that. Can't do it. Uh-oh. Yeah. Let's, uh, 
Yeah, let's see if we can take this thing on. Evil Eye has appeared. It can probably inflict something. Let's open up with a bloody offense. Let's do Trip Edge. Volt Star. One analysis scope and a head snipe. Stunning glare. All right, so I can inflict status ailments on us. Okay, so it might be extremely weak to physical type attacks or something. A strange floating organism immobilizes its wings to cleanly harvest its eyeball. It just straight up tells us that. But, would the wings be its... It looks like it's got arms, so maybe the wings are its legs? Hmm. Alright, then we can delayed charge... Into a... Assault drive. Okay, it's ice that we want to use. So let's do one etheric gleam. Uh, Reese is actually gonna have to spend a turn refreshing, and I guess we'll do leg snipe. Okay, just a regular attack, which is actually pretty nice. So that's the one. And now we can cross charge with abandon. Let's see how much this ice star does. And we'll do charge shot. Why not? Let's risk it on Astra. On rush. Okay, so maybe that only affects lines instead of everybody, but yeah, I think we might be better off just sticking with what we're already doing. Okay, bloody offense. Let's do another turn of that. One impulse edge coming right up. Line heal. And how about double action? Charge shot. Let's do that. Okay, so the back line's poison, but most importantly, Reese is paralyzed. And we kind of need him not to be. Yeah. We gotta fix that. Delay charge. Sharp edge. Ice star. Okay, so if Reese fails to get the refresh off here, then we're gonna have a lot of deaths on the back line. Scorching glare. Huh. It's just, okay, we were all in kind of a bad spot HP-wise before that occurred. Uh. Okay, it's probably unlikely that Salem's going to be able to get the kill here still. Yeah, probably should have just run away. Dang, we've already got it down to half health. Okay, let's uh, run. Nope. Okay. So that didn't go super well. The Scorching Glare, dude. That's how it got us. Okay, round two with this thing. First things first, we'll open up with a bloody offense. And even though she doesn't have any skills, she is actually now subclassed into being a Sovereign. Because, uh, yeah, Dolce, Dolce is benched pretty hard. So let's go ahead. Oh, wait, what? Oh, Axel Drive. Okay. I've been using Assault Drive instead of Axel Drive this whole time. Oh, well. Not gonna worry about that right now. First things first, let's try Trip Edge. Um, we know it's Ice Star, but we're going to open up with an Etheric Gleam. He's gonna throw out the Analysis Scope, and she will... Try for the head snipe. Or let's try for the big damage first. Go for a charged shot. 
Okay. Missed Monet, got Salem. Still good. She missed as well, so that turn was a complete bust outside of Astra. Alright. And then... Delayed Charge. Let's do an Impulse Edge. Let's see if Meteor does a lot of damage. Oh. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that we actually picked the right targets for Reese. Okay, so they're free. Onrush. Uh, 27 TP for that? What was that? That was roughly 160, 200-ish damage, which I guess is more than he's already doing, but I don't know. Okay, one cross charge coming right up. And then she is free to Axel Drive. I think we're going to have him stick with Ice Starring. And let's go for another charged shot. All right. 2,000 damage in one go. Definitely slapping this thing now. Wow! 1,000. All right, so that was a uh, very nice turn. We've got, uh, we can, yeah. Dang, I should have set up more. Okay, we'll bloody offense again. Have her sharp edge, ice star. Let's do just one healing for Monet. Yeah. Okay, that's Salem poisoned. Which is fine, she'll basically just be attacking on her own next turn. Yeah, one more turn of hero battle, which means we will be doing... Let's do one cross charge. Impulse Edge, Ice Star. Refresh, because we don't want her dying. Okay. Still, that's still an okay amount. Not the greatest... But not the worst. Okay. So, the Scorching Glare didn't insta-kill us this time. Or basically didn't completely ruin our chances at not all dying here. Delayed Charge into another Sharp Edge. Reese will revive. Let's start with Astra. Okay, yeah, we just had to hope we didn't get Scorching Glared again. And I think instead of re immediately reviving Baron, he's going to heal. Let's uh, heal the... Let's heal the back line. Okay. So still really nice with the damage there. Okay. I think we made the right decision right there. Okay, getting close to the win. But it's another turn that we're not going to be able to bring Baron back on. We've only got one more round of bloody offense. So we can delay charge into that bloody offense. Line heal. And another charge shot because Astra's been pretty blessed as far as not getting hit this whole time. Yeah. All right, and he is definitely going to have to heal himself. All right, bloody offense. Impulse edge. Uh, since we're so close, just go ahead and hit the win button. Yeah. We're over halfway through, so I, um, if, as long as we're over halfway through on an FOE battle, I never feel bad about using his force break. Never feel like it's too early or we could have saved it for a better time. Because it basically resets things on our end. And this cross charge should be it. If it's not, this Axel Drive will get him. Line heal to make sure that in the case something crazy happens, we don't lose our back line. Okay, yeah. We just got unlucky against that Scorching Eye the first time around. Crystal Lens. 
Alright. So that's one thing. Hmm. Okay, so we're not going to be able to get too far away. We don't want to fight a... We don't want to jump right into a, a second fight immediately. Luckily, these things, they're not too bad. Definitely the... Um, Ability, like their ability to inflict those status ailments Not the greatest thing ever, but as long as it's not poison. It's pretty manageable Okay, so we do have to run immediately once more, but same thing as before They don't have any Intensely crazy attacks unless someone gets poisoned. That's the only issue Whew. Escape 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 um, let's have Reese refresh and then escape. Well. Okay, cool. Monet got away. Alright, side. Wait, what? How did it get us a second time? I hit, I hit the R button so that we could sidestep, but apparently it still got us? Hmm. So, we've got to have Reese refresh again, but... Okay. What's an... What?! What's going on?! I didn't even do anything that time! Hold on. If we're trapped into another fight, that's not gonna be awesome. Okay, refresh. Okay, just to make sure I'm not accidentally pressing anything, as soon as we get away, I'm gonna completely take my thumbs off of my 3DS. Okay, no. On rush, which is whatever. Okay, thumbs off 3DS. So obviously we have to fight this thing. All right. You've collected the two zapper skins and the two zapper tongues. All that remains is to complete this quest by delivering them to the tavern. All right. So we'll actually be returning and doing that immediately because we definitely got taught quite the lesson. Couldn't escape. We got scorching glared. It ended pretty badly. We lost a crystal lens. So let's go ahead, turn this in because... I am definitely going to be killing um, one of those things again, just to make sure that we get everything back to how it was before. Not going to be taking on a second one immediately after that. I see now that that is suicide. Ah, have you collected my materials? Yeah, let's hand them the materials. Oh, thank you. I knew I could count on you. This skin so smooth. These tongues so soft. Yes, this handbag will be truly divine. Once again, you've done a fantastic job. Kavasir's got your reward as usual, so go ahead and pick it up from him. Thanks again. All right. Go ahead and get that cashola. Man. The extra XP is also going to be nice. And uh, like I said earlier, I redid the subclass. So now Monet is Imperial, is an Imperial Vampire sub-sovereign. Though, to be honest, I love when we get returning clients. I know, I'll introduce them to a rich woman who'd look great in a fancy dress. Then the requests will keep on coming. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't know any rich women. Do you? Oh, that's too bad. Whoops, almost forgot again. Your reward. Thanks again. And an experience. All right, we only got one level on that. Okay, but now it's time to save, heal, and go right back in. Okay, so we've officially redeemed ourselves right there, and now we can actually do everything else. First, we gotta make sure we don't get caught out. Yeah. Go ahead and activate this shortcut. 
Still, okay, still stuck right there, but... Enrica discovered Medica 3, but we don't need it because we're being passively healed by our new sub-monarch. Hmm. I guess now my only concern is how we're supposed to keep moving on. How we're supposed to get through here. So we can go ahead and we can recollect everything from here. Hmm. I think what I'm going to end up doing is leaving, making sure we save, and then coming back. Yeah, that's probably a smart play. Inventory. Alright, let's get out of here. So let's sell this stuff to Napier's firm, and then see what it's going to net us. And we can sell everything else, except for that one thick bone. Granule, cross events, demon fork, evil eyes, piercer, and the general leather. Okay, and a bunch of stuff. Wow, I should not have just bought that Chiati Kudo. Mm. Okay, looks like it's the TP up that we'd be really paying for with the Demon Fork. The one we've got right now is at its base stronger. But what about the Kasavets though? No, the Kasavets is just better. Even with a plus four Icy Wind. Or cross events, rather. Yeah. Alright, so we got the drive blade. We're basically broke now. Unless. Can we get some? No. He can wear the rubber dress, but. Nah. Okay, that's fine. Whew. Okay, so we actually don't have to kill absolutely everything here. Turns out, well, when I was sliding back and forth looking to the sides to see if there was anything else we could pick up or anything else of interest, we saw this. Just gotta wait for it to step back onto the ice. Okay, so now we've got this freed up. All right, and this is the last one. So basically, we just had to, I guess, blast all of them with ice. Hmm. We'll see how well this works out. Probably won't, though. We'll see. Okay, with that handled. Actually, there are two different spots we can... No, basically, we have to push it this way because that's a dead end. Enrique discovered Curse Gas and a Medica 3. Maybe. Oh, actually, there wasn't anything else we could do with that. Hmm. I guess now we just have to figure out. Oh! Okay, that was the puzzle. The puzzle actually didn't even involve. It didn't involve you uh, putting anything. Anything right here. Just getting to this spot, this spot specifically. Okay, well, it took a lot of killing and dying to learn that, but eventually we learned it and that's all that matters. While exploring the cave, you notice the remains of a campfire. <clears throat> Another explorer must have taken a break here. The fire's already died out, but there's still some unused firewood near the ashes. If you wish to do so, you can rest in this clearing. Yeah. You decide to take a break here. You put down your bags, set up a fire, and prepare to take a short break. You find some leftover rations nearby as well, so you all satisfy your stomachs and rest up. Okay. Which, I guess, would have been much nicer if I'd done this in one go instead of... It's actually been seven or eight because of how many times I've died and just cut that out. <sighs> oh, well. After the break, you put out the fire and return to the investigation. All right. Real time. <clears throat> Leftover camping. You found the remains of a campfire and some stable rations. So you ate and rested in the cave. And some XP for us as well. So that's her at level 60 also. After progressing deep into the cave, the demi-human child suddenly stops.
Though you don't understand what it's trying to say, you can tell that it is anxious about something. The cave's ruler, Boiling Lizard, is up ahead. So we've got to fight Boiling Lizard on the fourth floor? So there's probably going to be another boss on the fifth floor. Yeah. Wait, that's a door and not like a descending whatever. Now that you're thinking about it, you can feel a very strong heat emanating from the other side of the door. The oppressive heat makes you take an anxious gulp. It's probably safe to believe that Boiling Lizard is beyond this door. Enrica appears to have felt the same sensation uh, that you did, as she also seems quite nervous. Are you prepared to face the toughest, mightiest monster of this cavern? If so, open the door and step forth. Uh, not just yet. We gotta get out of here and uh, save. That is for sure. Okay. And now we're not even gonna waste time with uh, walking all the way back. It's just gonna be Ariadne thread out. Alright, and let's go ahead and sell stuff. So many thick bones, but not the other item that we need. I just really don't want to drop a formaldehyde on it. Hmm. Any better armor for her? Nope, the general leather's best. Nothing that's an overall improvement for her. Same for him. Same for him. Same for her. Okay. Um, uh, I keep meaning to grind for more TP recovery items. I just don't... Uh, I just haven't gotten to it yet. Sold out of analysis scopes? Hmm. Well, we should still have some left. Alright, I'm gonna prep, save, heal, and then we're gonna go in and kill the boiling lizard. Okay, so we're back. And we're just about ready to let the boiling lizard have it. Okay. I was wondering why, like, I was so confused and I was like, oh, I was marking my map wrong. Let's, uh, check to see if there's any other skills... Yeah, we've got one point for Baron. Let's, uh... Fire Prophecy. We won't... We probably won't be having him use uh, Fire Prophecy all that much. Free Energy should be more useful. And Charged Shot should be much more useful for her. Alright. Let's do this. Yeah, I remember you, bro. When you open the door, you immediately notice the copper-colored monster covered in flames. I, uh, I neglected to hit this. Oh well. As soon as it detects you, it shakes its entire body, making its flaming muscles ripple with power. Eh. Apparently, Boiling Lizard drops its scales to keep its living area heated. When you look upon the monster, you can tell that the iron plates you've been finding are actually Boiling Lizard's scales. Steal yourself against this massive, fearsome beast and fight! Alright, let's show what we're made of. Alright, so first things first. As usual, bloody offense. I guess we'll trip eggs with her. Etheric gleam. Um, let's have him... Well, we'll do the usual. One analysis scope coming right up. And we'll actually have her throw out, use her very first turn to throw out a heavenly gift. I figured why not? We've got so many of them and we so rarely use them. Scorching fire. Huh. Alright, so probably should have had him use fire prophecy to open things up with. Uh, Alright. Salem, Will, Soma. Let's see if we can uh, chance an Axel Drive. And 
How about a revive for you? Horns hurt. Wow, dude. Getting one shot. Mm. Let's try Delayed Charge, Fire Prophecy, Revive Astra. Horned Hurt again. Okay, so this, not going super great. Yeah, she died, so that's our buff gone. Revive Monet. And can she, uh... Let's lower its attack. Scales will off. The scales we can fight. Hmm. Actually, let me destroy the thing, come back, and then see if... See if we can... Do more damage that way. Hold on. Okay. I didn't think they were gonna do it. When you open the door, you immediately notice the copper-colored monster covered in flames. This was the same gimmick that it had in the previous game. You have to go through a lot more rigmarole, but if you manage to uh, turn the cave icy, then you would cut the health of the HP uh, of the boiling lizard in half. But uh, I'm actually surprised they retained it. Hmm. As soon as it detects you, it shakes its entire body, making its flaming muscles ripple with power. Eh. Apparently, boiling lizard drops its scales to keep its living area heated. When you look upon the monster, you can tell that the iron plates you've been finding are actually Boiling Lizard scales. So I probably kept the brief first attempt where I neglected to actually turn the, uh, uh, where I neglected to actually turn off its fire in. But, uh, yeah, this is gonna be the real fight. Steal yourself against this massive, fearsome beast and fight. Alright. Yeah. So now, its attacks shouldn't be as strong either. Skills. Let's go with bloody offense. Sharp edge. Etheric. Yeah, etheric gleam. Throw out one. Analysis scope. And we can wait to use the heavenly gift. She can start attacking right away. I can't believe it. You'd think it'd be too late in the game for them to be giving us half health bosses, but apparently not. Well, Astra had a good run. Okay, so this is basically how the previous attempt opened up as well. Um, let's do one more bloody offense. Into an Axel Drive. We'll revive Baron to start with. Okay, one regular attack. Which is a whole lot to deal with. Alright, and with that... Delayed charge into sharp edge. Let's etheric gleam again. And we... We can't chance them getting killed, so it's gotta be a line heal this time. Alright, no one's died. All good. Okay, so now, hero battle, cross charge, impulse edge, let's do multi-strike ether, and he will actually revive. Alright. Okay, so now it's time for the scale business. Well, ugh, missing. Okay, we'll delayed charge. She'll actually start massive edging. And yeah, Meteor. Um, Reese, I guess he can... Star drop. We do want to make sure that we get the uh, scale as well. Two to five attacks. I don't think that's... I don't think it's as reliable as it could potentially be, so... We won't be doing that just yet. Uh... 
crap. All right, so... Hmm. I don't remember them being this evasive, though they probably were. Let's do another cross charge. Uh, let's impulse eggs just to scale. And then just like before, we're gonna revive. I've actually got to pick revive. Okay, so that's horned hurt. Good amount of damage. Hmm. You know what? I think we've got to, because it was like a rune master skill, I think. Something about ice. If we do ice something, it renders them inert, I think it was. It was something like that. Okay, delayed charge. Not on that. But the but uh, there was a rune master skill, or there was some type of ice skill. They just made it unable to. They just uh, made this the uh, scale unable to do anything. Or no, I think the ice stakes were usable in battle. Something like that. Well, either way, get him with the miasma. Rap. Yeah, I think it was specifically some type, either the ice stakes or there was some type of skill that made it useless. Okay, cross charge. Let's do another impulse edge. Hope and pray that that works out for us. Binary ice. A nice quick heal all. And I guess since we can't do much of anything else. Dang, I wish I remembered. That's my phone. The scale is frozen. Okay. So yes, it, or maybe it was just it was just attacking them with an ice skill that did it. But either way, yes, something like that. All right. Attempt number three, let's go. So first things first, we're going to open up with bloody offense per usual. Sharp edge. Um, let's actually have him do fire prophecy. And one analysis scope. And she should be good to go as far as charged shotting. Okay, so we got the free energy proc, which is actually really nice. Alright. Next, uh, we'll actually bloody offense a second time. Axel drive. Um, let's... It's kind of a waste, but we do want to fire prophecy a second time. One star drop coming right up. And keep the charged shots coming. Horned hurt. Okay. That's fine. So we predicted incorrectly this time. Alright, and now with that out of the way, we can delayed charge, sharp edge, uh, sure, one multi-strike ether, line heal, and let's hope and pray with the final charged shot here, that we can actually get it off, fire cannon, nope. And she's blinded. Gotta go for the cross charge anyways. And let's see what Meteor will look like. One revive, come in up. Alright, still got him. Ah! Okay, was not great. 
So we will not be doing that again. He'll just Sharp Edge, and then Baron will actually use his next uh, bit of power for a Binary Ice. And let's res Astra. Crap. So at least the scale's not doubling up on those attacks. Um, three turns of bloody offense left. Let's just have her head pierce. Impulse edge. Uh, a line heal on the back, and so she's gonna have to. I don't think we can get through this without having Astra support, at least somewhat. Oh wow! I actually got it that time. Scale still frozen, exactly what we want it to be. All right. So how about one? Delayed charge. Uh, I think I had a misplay earlier with delayed charge, but we're not going to worry about that. Trip edge. Bring Baron back and keep the stifling miasma alive. Whew. Oh, man. All right. So, he's blinded. It's highly unlikely Impulse Edge is going to hit. Another scale. Yeah. Pretty long shot. Okay, nothing left to do but to bloody offense again. Uh, we'll have her just regularly attack until she either heals or we can have, uh, we can free up a turn for Reese to do his thing. Ice Star, revive. Another Scorching Fire. Instantly killing Baron. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, we cannot have Stifling Miasma wear off. So they're going to continue to attack the correct enemy. Monet's back in action, so let's go for a Trip Edge. Revive, Stifling Miasma. If it attacks us with a Fire Attack, okay. I was going to say we're basically screwed. Okay. Um, how's about... Yeah, one binary ice from you. Intensive care into a heal all. And she can give us some more turns of stifling miasma. Alright, sleep tail wakes them up then. All good. Hmm. So we don't have any more turns left to wait. We gotta throw out that cross charge. And uh, she is free to actually, yeah, Axel drive. Reese is gonna have to line heal the front to make sure that they don't die. Mm. Yeah, let's stick to that. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking another round of Stifling Miasma. Okay. So a little, um, 11, 1200-ish damage. Alright. So she's actually going to... Ah, uh, yeah. Our TP totals, dude. They're getting to be a little dire. Bloody offense. 
Sharp Edge. Binary Ice. Uh, what about... Let's do Delayed Heal. Yeah. I think we're probably... Yeah, we've got a lot of uh, for the Stifling Miasma. A giant lizard, also known as the Diamond Beast. Its scales are hot enough to alter the layer's very air. Alright. Can we... Let's chance a charged shot. See if we'll get lucky. Nope. That's bye-bye to our back line. Oh, man. Those fire attacks, dude. Alright, one delayed charge from you. Let's see if we can get the impulse edge. And he is going to have to heal Salem. Alright. Okay, not as bad as it could have been. Scale still frozen. As per usual, that means that Baron... Yeah, we gotta bring Baron back. Skills. How about a... Cross charge? Let's do a sharp edge for her. One revive. Oh, please don't fire attack us before next turn, dude. Okay. And then... We've only got one more turn before her for, uh, force gauge is back. Uh, let's do a spear assist. Into an impulse edge. Binary Ice, and Revive Astra. Okay, well, it's not going to be able to summon any more scales. Whoop. Alright, 445. Definitely not... It's not really worth it to do that over what we were already doing. Alright. Bloody Offense. Sharp Edge. Uh, I guess we'll Ice Star? One line heal, and... Oh, we've got still five turns of Stifling Miasma. Actually, let's have... Let's, uh... See if maybe a Fire Prophecy is in order right now. Line heal, and then we'll charge shot. Yes, got him! And it hasn't done any fire attacks twice in a row yet, so I'm thinking we're probably okay there. All right, next up, we've got the delayed charge. And we don't have enough for the Axel Drive, so let's try Impulse Edging. Okay, Binary Ice, we just have to be faster. Uh, let's do an Eroding Miasma with her. Sleep Tail. Okay, cool. Not on the back line. Mm. Now we can force into the cross charge. Uh, let's try it. Okay, we're gonna fire Prophecy on the off chance. Reese, he's got to throw a Hamal Prime Salem's Way. And since we're going to be blocking a fire attack, we'll charge shot because we should have this turn free. Alright. Horned Hurt. Okay, it could have been worse. Could have been worse. Okay, they're back. Delayed, um... Dang, why does the way... 
charge default to that? One Fire Prophecy. Baron will also be the recipient of a Hamal Prime. And then she'll keep attacking. Another scale flew off. I want to block another attack. Uh, yeah, let's cross charge. Mm, yeah, let's do it. Fire Prophecy. Uh, do we have any Amritas instead? Yes, we do. All right. A single Amrita to Baron. And a charge shot on Astra. Alright. So I should have some Axelas. Which means that I'm probably going to throw those onto Salem. And both of the Miasmas wore off. Crap, I should have been paying attention to that. Okay, item. One Axela for you. She's only got enough for a freeze drive, so we'll do that. What we should have probably been having him do was binary ice this whole time. Oh well. Let's Axela again for Salem. And she can charge shots. Sweet tail. Crap. Putting our back line to uh, sleep is actually really friggin' bad for us. Okay, thankfully Reese came back pretty quickly. Dang, dude. Alright, so she can Axela herself. Since Baron's still asleep. Sharp Edge. Okay, we'll refresh, but I think we're probably about to get fire attacked. Firewall. A wall of flame appears before Boiling Lizard. That might nullify fire attacks or something? Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. So, just like before, bloody offense. Uh, we'll impulse edge. With basically everything we've got left in the tank. One, revive. One hurt. Okay, cool. Whew, that turn went really nicely for us. Hmm. So basically, while Firewall is up. Firewall. Counter-attack with fire. Hmm. That's not actually super great for us. Sharp Edge. I think... Okay. I guess we'll have Baron. Actually, let's try... Hmm. Yeah, let's go for a Fire Prophecy. Soma. And. Yeah, stifling my asthma. Did I guess right? We did. We guessed right. Oh. That firewall, dude. Attacking is basically suicide. But we gotta do it anyways. Alright, so one. Delayed charge on you. Divination. Binary ice. Revive. Monet. Hmm. And I think we'll actually have her... Yeah, let's throw a Hamal Salem's way. Fire regen. 
So does that mean it's gonna heal whenever it gets attacked? What is fire regen? Okay, yep, 428. Alright, so we got one turn of delayed charge, but we're gonna get in there. Cross charge. You. Sharp edge. Baron, instead of doing that. Nah. Meteor is kind of pointless. I don't have enough ranks in it, basically, to make it useful. And how about an etheric gleam from Reese? Head snipe? Maybe we'll get lucky with that. Alright, so we only actually ended up doing about 900 because of that. Fire cannon. Okay. And then, next thing's next. Let's, uh, 432. Undid so much damage right there. Sure, let's go for it. Guy Bulg. Impulse Edge. Draw the Astro sign on these jokers. Um, and let's refresh Astra. Or refresh Monet, rather. And Charged Shot. Okay. Could have been worse. Summoning more scales. Oh, I guess it's only like melee attacks, potentially? Okay, firewall and stifling miasma's effects have worn off. Dang, dude, it doesn't feel like we're making too much of a dent in this thing at all. Alright, delayed charge. And we'll freeze drive. Throw a binary ice at the problem. Uh, Reese is actually going to have to use that final Hamal Prime on himself. And Astral will continue with the charged shots. It's already healed up 1200 HP. <sighs> Alright. And yet another heal. Still bloody offense, which is nice, but cross charge this thing. Go ahead and healing touch everybody. Ah. So dumb. HP heals, and it's got another turn of that, too. Alright, so... Delayed charge. Binary ice. Uh, how about a refresh? And a charged shot. Well, we missed, but we got a free energy, so that's nice. Okay, and I, Astra did a little bit over that amount this turn, so... One bloody offense. Another freeze drive, because why not? Um... Baron will actually... Hamal... Reese will line heal. And charge shot. Okay. Scale, yep. Got him with the 639. Dang, dude, we'd have won already if we if we just hadn't been screwed over. Okay, and cross charge ya. Sharp edge. Hmm. Binary ice. Line heal. 
Okay, we want to keep Astra alive so that we can eventually get her attack, her force break. There's Scorching Fire. She didn't die, so that's nice. Nope. Alright, so definitely gonna be healing our back line there. Skill. Delayed charge. That's the wrong enemy. Ugh, we're getting close. Let's line heal the back. And she'll... Let's have her keep up with the head... Uh, wait, can this thing be head sniped? Uh, okay, it's very resistant to head binds. So let's not bother. <sighs> okay, um... Let's eroding miasma. We need Salem not to die! Okay. That went nicely. If we can get this next turn... Yep, we're bloody offensed. We just need cross charge... ...to go off. Line heal. We got one more turn. Nectar, Baron. Come on. Get the kill. Somebody get the kill. Okay. Who? Nailed it. Jeez. <laughs> Woo. Was really worried there because. That could have gone south very quickly. You've discovered a new monster, Boiling Lizard. Scale, Fiery Horn. Hmm. That's it? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's keep moving forward here. Oh, this goes up. After defeating Boiling Lizard, you step into the large, empty area. <laughs> I would have expected nothing less of you, Luna Soul Guild. <laughs> right, it was so easy to pull off. Trying to get my heart rate back down, dude. Enrica first sounds impressed, but her tone quickly shifts to one of warning. Mm. Do be careful beyond here, though. According to this child, the demi-humans don't take kindly to us humans at all. Nodding gratefully to Enrica, you proceed to the exit of the cave. Alright. Up. Oh. And then that is up. But the moment you exit the cave, the child runs off in excitement. <laughs> he shouted, I'm coming home, and ran ahead. He wants us to follow. Let's not keep him waiting. I'm gonna run up ahead, she says as she chases after the child. You parted with Enrica. You quickly set off, hoping not to lose sight of them. Uh, maybe not that quickly. Event. Okay, no. We're going to come back to Meginia. Heal up, save, all that good stuff. Oh, let's report this map too. Report. I keep. I think I've done that like every single time I've come here. It appears you fully mapped out the Golden Lair. This should help us to better understand the area. Her Highness has asked that I reward you with this. Lively armlet. Okay. Please continue your support. We're looking forward to it, Luna Soul Guild. Alright, but uh, first we gotta save and heal and keep things moving, so... Oh, that's all give me next time, guys. So definitely join me then for more Etrian Odyssey Nexus. Bye for now.